Hey guys, Kat here. Thank you for tuning in. Now let's get this look started. Starting off with this white cream paint from Ben Nye. I'm just going to go ahead and use my beauty blender. I'm going to pat this cream paint right into my face. I like working with a cream paint instead of a water-based paint on the face because it does get every nook and cranny. And when you're my age, that is a plus. And it also spreads quite evenly, really nice. So. Now I'm going to go ahead and take that paint and I'm just going to work it down the neck. You want to make sure that you're going to cover every part of your skin that is going to be showing. Just going to pat that in. Now I'm taking this neutral set powder from Ben Nye and I'm just going to put that everywhere the cream is. Taking this eye pigment from Milk Makeup in the shade Rave and I'm just topping my eyelid with that along with this purple shade from the Artist 9 palette of Makeup Forever and I'm going to blend those two colors together to cover the eye and I'm also going to use that to contour my nose. And also underneath, underneath the eye. Now taking this shade from NYX in Late Night Lingerie and I'm just going to apply that right onto the crease of my eye. Using circular motions, I'm just gonna blend that. And I'm also gonna take it right underneath the eye as well. And using this shade from NYX and Contour, I'm gonna use this to contour my cheekbones, also my jawline, and the temples of my head. Now using that same shade I'm just going to dab it just to kind of dirty it up and make it look not so perfect. Now taking this lip shade from LA Splash Cosmetics in Perilous and I'm just going to coat my entire lip and wing the ends. Now taking this Wet n Wild shade, it's a metallic shade, I'm going to just top coat the lip with that just to give it a more metallic feel. Now using this LA Splash Cosmetics Pro Artist Liner in Kaleidoscope, I'm going to go ahead and just coat my brow hairs and also my bottom lashes. Now taking this Milk Makeup Eye Pigment shade in Mermaid Paradise and I'm just going to use a spoolie sponge here and I'm going to just dab it just to give a glam moss effect. And you can just dab this anywhere randomly, anywhere you feel like it needs it. I um, also use the dark shadow underneath there too as well. Taking this black liner, just lining my lash line and popping on my lashes. These are in Rave and my fancy contacts from Camo Eyes. Pop on your wig and that concludes this Beetle Bay tutorial. Hope you enjoyed watching and hope you come back again.